everybody is doing well. I have a couple of fun paper bag albums I wanted to share today. I haven't made any paper bag albums in quite some time. But for Christmas, I wanted to at least get a couple made. And uh, I don't know, maybe I can get a couple more made before uh, I run out of time at the end of the month. But uh, anyway, this here is a couple of collections. Uh, this one is called Sweet Treats. This uh, pretty one right here is called Sweet Treats. And it is more of a kitchen baking themed uh, one. And then this one is Wonderful Christmas Time is what the name of this one is. Now these will be going in the Etsy shop and that's how they'll be named in the Etsy shop. Uh, these are the jumbo or the large uh, lunch bags. So they're about a six by six, okay? They may vary just a little bit bigger than that, but they're right around the six by six. So uh, anyway, guys, so we're going to start with the, we'll start with the, um, wonderful Christmas time here. And these are just really, really fun little, little bag albums. Um, here is the back. And then I've added some vintage lace here. Uh, now this is a kit off of Etsy. Both of these are. They come from the same shop. Um, and I cannot remember where I found them. So I will put them in the description box as well. Uh, if you want to, uh, see where they came from. So, in here we have just a fun little, uh, just a little, uh, place for you to journal. Just a little journal paper there. Okay. And then here I've got, uh, here's your front. Oh, there's a little pocket. I did not put anything in that pocket. I will definitely have to do that. That will be filled with something, um, uh, in it. And then here is just a little, uh, little girl here with her little, um, um, coat in the snow, her little hand puff there. It's pretty cute. Here's just a journaling spot. Added some vintage lace, stitched it on. Now I have a lot of stitching done in this and it's all in the white thread, so... Um, it'll be hard to see in the camera sometimes when it's all stitched in white. But here are just a couple of tags, uh, that are going in this pocket here. And here is just so, this is just so cute, just some cutouts from the kit. Uh, here is a little, uh, deer. He looks so cute there on this paper. Added some vintage lace here. Uh, of course the paper is from the collection. Here I've got like a little, a little trifold, um, oops, a little trifold tag, uh, paper I made. I just thought that was fun. And then here I've got a uh, envelope, an envelope, and I have a little journaling, little journaling pad. It doesn't have a lot of paper in it because you can't get real thick in these envelopes, so just kind of stitched it, and it slides right in. I've just got it clipped on with a little rusty clip. And then here I've got a little, a little, uh, envelope with a little, little piece of, uh, a little journaling booklet, I guess I should say. And then here is just, uh, some little stockings hung on the chimney there, or on the mantle. And this I have just stapled, uh, to on the, or stapled, placed on the side with a little rusty clip. Got my little Christmas tree stitching there. This is just a little fun um, um, tag from the kit. Paired it up with a little bit of... Uh, uh, one of those toppers from that envelope. 
Here is just a little journaling card. And then here is a fun little, little uh, booklet. And a lot of stitching in it. And it just sets in the pocket here. More stitching on the side there. Here's a couple of little tags. I love that. That is so cute. That This whole kit is really cute. And then here is another little collaged piece there. And then in the back, I actually put a little envelope here. This is from the kit. And it has a booklet inside of it as well. That is just adorable. That's a Pinterest image there. A little bit of stitching. And there is the back. And that sets in there. And that is the little, uh, and like I said, I will stick something in this pocket here. I've just uh, forgotten to do that, so I will do that. All right, there is that one. Here is the sweet treats. This one here is just fun. This was a really fun little bag journal to make. I've added some vintage buttons on the front. Here is the back. I've just assorted the papers there on the cover. Here is a little uh, welcome to our kitchen. And it is the same way. It's just a little uh, just a little journaling spot. Okay. Here is the front. I have Bon Appetit. These are just cutouts from the uh, kit. Here I've got uh, just a little booklet. I've added a few little um, Christmas sentiments in it. Those are the Tim Holtz rub-ons. And it just sets in the pocket. Some vintage lace there. There's a fun little little piece and it's a wonderful life. Here I've got just a page that folds open for journaling. Stitching on the side. Here's a little a little uh, piece. It's got the best things in life are sweet. These are just some vintage images off Pinterest of uh, ladies cooking uh, that I've used in this journal. Christmas wishes. Here I made a paper ruffle. I hadn't done that for a while and so I decided to do a couple paper ruffles in this one. Here are just some uh, journaling pieces uh, for this pocket. Here we've got just a really pretty image there and I've added a couple of these little like file cards in here for journaling. There's kind of the back and the back. So there's just a couple of file cards. I've got one of these little tiny Tim Holtz clips kind of holding them together. Then I've added this little booklet. I've got the little um, piece from that envelope that I've used in here. Got Season's Greetings. And that just sets in the pocket. And so do those. And then here is that envelope. It's got another one of the ladies baking on it. I've got Life is What You Bake It and Recipes. So I put a, a piece in here that if you needed to write a recipe on, you could. Uh, I thought it was um, would be fun just to have a blank, blank piece in there if you wanted to put a recipe on it. You could. There's that. And then here I've just kind of did a collage and added one of those um, little uh, slide 
frames there. Hello December. Here is another glassine bag. Here I've just put uh, in the kit, it actually comes with four uh, recipes. I think I have three in here. There's a peanut bread or bread, nut and raisin rolls, and cheese straws. And those are just kind of what I added, added in the pocket here. Oops, I can't see from the, from the ribbon. The bad thing about these rusted clips... Oh, is they like to hang on the thread for some reason they just you just they just hang on that thread I'm gonna put the bigger side on there okay here's some more vintage lace there here's just a little image backed in some copy dyed music sheet some more little fancy stitching there here i've just got uh, a little tim holtz clip there i've got merry christmas and then here is just a little a little booklet there made from one of the tags in the kit and i've just got it attached on there another paper ruffle and then another pocket. I've just got a little bulb pin kind of holding these together. Just some little tags. So you can just write on the back of your tag, do a little journaling. And then just set in the pocket with the bulb pin. <clears throat> and then here is the back. And I made this kind of, instead of just making it a pocket, it just kind of is like a tuck. So I didn't uh, attach the top, just the bottom. Here's just a little journaling paper there. This is T's. And then here is one of the envelopes from the kit. And I've got a wonderful Christmas time using the labels there. And then just a place to journal. Let's see, Joy to the World. Jingle all the way, and then there is the back. So there is the little uh, booklet for the envelope there. And I've just kind of put these together. So, and they just tuck in that uh, little pocket there. So uh, anyway, guys, this is the little um, Sweet Treats bag album. So anyway, that is it for today. And uh, like I said, these will be in the shop. Um, and uh, you guys have a great day. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.